Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you my thought process and what I was thinking about when I was making this particular artwork of Mumei from Hololive. So I've been leaning more into larger breasts because, um, weirdly enough, I've been trying to figure out if the algorithm likes it more or if it's just occasionally the artwork is lucky. And what I've found so far is that there is a slight boost in the algorithm on Twitter with larger breast sizes, but not huge enough to fully commit all the way. But whenever I created this artwork, my goal was to make them large and feel weighted. Um, and I get that's not everyone's cup of tea, that's, that's fine, you're allowed not to like it, it's okay, I'm not upset. But I wanted to see if I could push the envelope. In the sketch, I wanted to go for like, just, like she's holding a camera and the phone, I then added the jacket to kind of push the breast together a little bit, which was kind of what I wanted, then kind of experimenting with the style, making the hair look like Mume, which I didn't get right at first. Um, but overall, I think I was kind of happy with what I came up with. In terms of lighting, the highlight was definitely the breasts. So I wanted mainly the breasts to be lit and a little bit of the face. Um, I used some post-processing and did some bubble effects to kind of make it look like there's a wetness here because wet is always fun. I enjoy it, um, especially after I started getting better at drawing it. Um, I went super detailed on the collar because I really like um, collars and I felt like I've been lazy with them recently so I wanted to kind of add more detail and I also changed up the eyes a little bit from what the sketch was because I thought the eyes I were I was using just didn't fit the character very much but overall I kind of enjoyed it um in terms of the heart and the collar I was inspired by Chloe Sakamana Chloe from uh, Hololive as well she's so cute um and I kind of wanted to move that cuteness onto Mume as well Now, the hair was a little bit tricky, but I definitely had fun with it. I, I kind of added a lot of curves and a little bit of overlap in the hair, which always looks nice. Um, I kind of struggle with hair, believe it or not. It may not look like I do, but I do. Um, getting hair to look correct and like anime is actually challenging for me. Um, I wish I had it easier, but you know that's just gonna get better with time and patience. So I believe also with some time and patience on your end, you could achieve that as well. Um, the bathing suit or the bra, I, of course, I did. I made it smaller than what it should be, admittedly, because this is supposed to be kind of more of a sexier artwork. Um, I also changed the lighting a bit and softened up the breasts and made them the focus and then added a hard shadow on top to make it look like the hair and the head were casting a shadow. Yeah, it's, it's honestly, um... This was all rendering. I feel like the, the, the line art itself isn't all that impressive, but the rendering was what really brings this artwork to life. Yeah, adding that add glow layer is just my signature move, using add glow to make the everything shine. And that's how I made this Mume artwork. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, hit the bell. Helps out a whole lot. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye!